So, and then I screamed it paid off. It was it was fun. There was someone I, I was watching when you lost a salt and someone talked shit. Yep, yep, went, yep. I'll remember this. And I was like, what does he mean? Yep. And then he won. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> okay, we got we got Spargo and we got Mo in the spa right here. Yeah, I don't like Greninja. I don't like what he stands for. Mo plays Greninja and Duck Hunting. So it's a very, very weird uh, co main. You gotta be yeah. prepared for both matchups. Oh my god, Spargo's nasty. Spargo's <laughs> sick with it. Alright, so Onan won that. I'll run bets for this next one. Oh, he's playing hot. Weird character Zane doesn't vibe with. Greninja is just too slippery. Ooh. Oh. Is that what they call a two frame? Am I correct in that? No. Wait. Okay. Oh, no, okay. I, was it a two frame? I'm, wait, was it on the ledge or above it? If it was right at ledge, it might have been a two frame. Um, but two frames kind of like when they, it's like when they right as they snap to like ledge. There. Okay, okay. It was okay, right okay. above it, so it was close to it. If Melee had two frames, that would actually be pretty interesting, but they don't have it. Mm. It's a pretty cool mechanic. Okay. Actually, you asked me if I could patch melee, believe, you know what I would take out? I would take out the Legend of Invincibility restall. Really? Like, yeah, even though it benefits Puff, it's just not a good mechanic. Like, it's just, you know. Spitting. I'm, yeah, 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 I think. It, it benefits both of our characters, but it's like, I don't know, it just has no place in a game like that. That's why I took it out. Yeah. Yep. I think uh, Phantoms are whack. Phantoms are whack, yeah. Because Phantom, you know the thing with Phantoms? It's you can't tell if it's you're being bad or the game is bad. It's like Sakurai's yeah. like, you decide. It's like fucked yeah. up, you know? Oh no, why is Houdini playing? No! Okay. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Don't worry about it. I, Chad, I don't listen to Houdini. That's, it's not my playlist. Oh, uh, Houdini? Yeah. You know? I have, I have a guy in my chat named Whale Dick Nachos. Okay. Holy fuck, Mo got destroyed. I have a guy in my chat named Whale Dick Nachos. He's been subscribed or following me for the past three years. If yeah. you look through his chat history, this isn't an exaggeration. His chat history is only criticizing Eminem. And he's done like over 500 messages in my chat. What? All of it. Every single message is just him. He was, he was here leaving last week. He didn't show up for a month. Houdini dropped and he's like, Houdini was the most terrible comeback track I've ever heard from an artist in this day and age. Are and you he just talking about Eminem a lot in your stream? What's going on? You know, it's just great. Like that that's his thing. That's, that's his, his thing. thing. He just hates Marshall Mathers. Wait, let, let me pull it up. I think I can pull it up. Hold on. Flash <laughs> user whale. He just, he dick just hates not. Eminem. <laughs> Bro, I have it right here. I'm one. not even kidding. Look at this. Okay. Baffling to me that people think Houdini was in any way a return to form for Eminem relative to the extremely low bar he set. Like, it's maybe it's not just... awful. Wow, he does not like Eminem. And look, look and May 9th, even the May final 9th. verse in 8 Mile isn't good. Eminem is awful. Oh, come on. Let's, keep, no, let's keep going. 8 Mile's great. Let's, let's keep going. It's like, okay, he has some memes there, but I'm telling you right now, this is every time he's in here. He'll do an Eminem criticism and then chat regularly. But for the past three years, he's been criticizing Eminem. It's insane. He's the biggest A1 hater for an artist I think I know ever. Is that Mariah Carey's Twitch account? What's, what is going on? I, I don't know. Is that fucking Ja Rule in your chat? I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's, it's dedication at a certain point, right? Like you have to, it's fucking incredible. It's like wild. That's Anyways. Cool. That's crazy. That, he has a brand. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I like some of those Eminem songs. I like some of them. <laughs> I like some of the Eminem songs. <laughs> I do though. Eminem Marsh show and Slim Shady LP and Marshmallows LP one yeah. are good. And that song That's Bad Guy. Pretty I'm good. Kind of so good. He, he was a bad guy. He was a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. But you know, he's got he's got some stinkers. I like the I like the Kendrick track too is. off the it's not even new anymore. That was like ten years ago. You know what I'm talking Love Game, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that's a good one. Evan has got some good tracks. Come All on. Alright. As Mo is fucking up Spargo now with a, with a duck hunt, my question is, what is whoa, what is Kendrick's best album? Good kid. Me too. But but sometimes we, we, I say we, we both bad. agree. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it, it's Good Kid. Yeah. Favorite song on Good Kid? Oh, it's gotta be Mad Mad City or Money Trees, I think. Mm -hmm. Or Sing About Me. I like There's so many me. good songs in that. I, li I like Sing About Me and Art of Fear Pressure. Oh yeah, that's good. Have you ever seen him live? No, I would love to. I heard he's performing soon for like a, I think he has a new album coming out like. Yeah, what I, what I, I, read. I think if, if, cause I've been to a lot of concerts. If I had to think about what my favorite ever single song from an artist I've heard from any artist live was, Mad City by Kendrick would be up there. So when, when the it's chat went, went, sorry, I said chat. I'm so fucking online. When the crowd, <laughs> When the crowd said, yeah, 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 yeah. And it, it's like you could feel the floor move. Like the floor almost broke, it felt like. Because I think it was inside a venue that was like above the ground. But um, it was it was crazy. It was so good. Fucking amazing. I, love yeah. Yeah. I like his new album too. I like Mr. Morale. Mr. Morale was a more like introspective one. I would say like it's still a really good album. I think it's his weakest of the four or five. You think weakest of the four? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. I think I think Dam is really fucking good. People people will think it, it aids badly, but I'm just like. I think it's also really fucking good. But I like this more album. He has no bad I, albums. Even even Untitled Unmastered, yeah. they're all like at least 8.59 out of 10. At Loki least. Loki T Pab is the weakest. Stop. Uh, you said T Pab is the weakest? Someone in my chat. Someone in my no, chat. No 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 no. Okay. Okay. That's that's just. I say I say Dam is the weakest, and I still love it. Then I put Mr. Morale. Then I yeah, put yeah. T Pab. No, then I put Section 80, T Pab, Good Kid. Bro, Section 80 is phenomenal. All right, Mo, hold on. As we were talking about that, Spargo and Mo now in a last stock situation. He could come back here, or Mo could push him to the ledge. But I'll be honest, I want a Spargo top eight. Uh, thank you. Who gifted Will Nachos? Anyways, I, I also gotta he's gonna to come Will. back here and tell us how bad Houdini is. It's only a matter of time. But here we go. One thirty-nine. Oh! Oh! Two oh! He's back, baby. Spargo back in winner's top eight. Guaranteed fifth place. That's a W in my, in my, in my book, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, other results. Elijahman also beating Louis Money. Elijahman is going to fight Spargo in top eight with Shulk. Elijahman is Shulk? I've never seen a Shulk, Shulk in my life. 